What's going on folks? It's Noah from Northern Scavenger. Me and Alex just got back from our big trip in Wabukimi. It was amazing. You're going to see more about it very soon. And one thing different about this trip than most of our other trips, other than that it was very long, is that we used someone else's boat. You guys might know this guy. We know him as Uncle Kev. And this is his boat. Let's take a look at it. So unlike our boat, it's not made out of plastic and it's not 150 pounds. Amazing canoe, had an amazing time in it. But the problem is we had such a good time in it. There's fish guts, sweat, blood and tears in there that we got to wash out before we give it back to Uncle Kev. So we're going to do a quick wash up, head out to Peterborough and send it back. So old crusty blood from fish. Don't worry, we'll get rid of that. Tears from Alex <laughs> on those long days. So when you're washing a canoe, you want to do counterclockwise rotations like this. Kind of like the Karate Kid with the canoe version. There you go. If you have a young guy or girl getting into canoeing, the first thing you want them to do is wash it at least 10 canoes. So they really appreciate what a canoe really means to Ontario and Canada as a whole. Can't forget the little grannies. <laughs> Novacraft canoe. It's already midnight. Are you serious? All right guys, so <laughs> we made it to Kevin's house. It's midnight. They were here like at five. And we still have to get back to Etobicoke, so. Seriously? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so here's the thing about these guys though. I saw a couple of films they did. One was going down the Still River. Loved that trip. Uh, I remember doing it, almost died on the trip. And they did it in a Coleman canoe. And my rhythm, I think it's fantastic they did that. And then I saw them at the 150, 150 and they were going to do Wabakini in the Coleman canoe. And I said, Yes, sorry, I got a question here. Um, if you do that, you will die. So they came aboard my canoe and they came back with it intact, thank God. And uh, they have amazing stories. I saw pictures of brook trout. I saw pictures of massive pike uh, walleye that kind of even looked like the, the um, blue walleye, the, the very unique species. I'll find out that that's true or not. I don't watch TV anymore. In fact, I don't even know how to turn the TV on. I, I, I watch Netflix and YouTube and watch a bunch of YouTube channels. And then, yeah, I, I checked out theirs and, oh, cool. And I really like it. In fact, the Tomogamy one I really enjoyed because it's a true adventure. It's a true adventure of a really good trip. A couple, a couple of good guys going on a trip, enjoying themselves, fishing. I love fishing. And it's, it's more true than TV, to be quite honest. So, yeah. But overall, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned because we have an amazing series coming out for you guys. It involves a lot of wildlife, fishing, good times and adventure. So stay tuned. And again, we'd just like to thank Kevin for uh, letting us borrow his great canoe. Kevin, I have one question for you. Uh -oh. After all the v advice you've given us tonight and all the stories, can we call you Uncle Kev? Oh no, I, I mean, I'm not gonna be that old <laughs> wise man. I, I'm a very young, very sexy man. You didn't say you were. Hey, you could be the sexy uncle. No! <laughs> is a sexy uncle. Who is a sexy No, there's You're no sexy uncle. You, you, you can be the no, first sexy, no, no. sexy uncle. <laughs> I'm not going to be Uncle Kev. I'm never going to get... No, no. Uh, call me... Um, call me the... Call me anything but the, the Uncle Kev. Uh, uh, this is a very awkward question. Uh, <laughs> uncle Kev. Yeah. yeah, Uncle Kev. Damn it. All right, thanks, Uncle Kev. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. We will see you on our next series, Wabakimi Adventure. Talk to you later.